hi welcome back to another video with indigo math today i'm going to take you through some trick or proofs let's start so we look at this question here i need to prove this identity and i've got a sine square two theta cotangent square theta minus tangent square theta and on my right hand side i've got four cos two theta so usually for proving we will start with the more complicated side because there's more room for manipulation so obviously it's the left hand side that's more complicated so i'm going to get started with that so let me just write that down first sine square 2 theta i'm just copying the question cotangent square theta minus tangent square theta please do not write equals 4 cos 2 theta because you have not proven the identity yet and we see whatever we want to prove to has got a cosine which is like the simplest form of a trigger right so we know that sine and cosine they're simplest forms of triggers so you see here on your left hand side you've got cotangent and you've got tangent so i'm just going to convert these two triggers into a sine and cosine so i'll show you how to do that you get sine square i've not changed the sine square to theta I'm going to change cotangent square theta into cos square theta over sine square theta minus sine square theta over cos square theta because that's what tangent is, right? Moving on to the next step, I'm going to see whatever I want to show is only one single piece. There's no like something minus something. So it's a hint for me to go and combine these into a single fraction. So I'm going to do that sine square to theta combining the common denominator is a sine square theta cos square theta so i'm going to multiply this by a cos square theta multiply this by a sine square theta putting them together cos square theta times cos square theta is just cos to the power of 4 theta minus sine to the power of 4 theta over sine square theta cos square theta okay then the next step is i kind of stuck with the manipulation right because there's nothing i can quite cancel because one of the angles are double angles the others they're all singles so what am i going to do i'm going to use a double angle formula for sine to go and convert it to a single angle so remember in your formula sheet i'm just going to write it down on the side sine of 2 theta can be written as 2 sine theta cos theta which then means if I sine square 2 theta, I'm going to do the conversion first and show you. I will write it as 2 sine theta cos theta. But because there's a square, I need to go and square the entire thing here like that. I'm going to copy down whatever is written here because I've not changed it. So sine 4 theta over sine square theta minus cos square theta. I'm going to open up this square here. I'm going to square every single term in the bracket. So, like literally every single one. So I get 4 sine square theta cos square theta times cos 4 theta minus sine 4 theta over sine square theta cos square theta. Sorry, I made a mistake earlier. There shouldn't be a minus here. You realize we can cancel some terms away, right? Don't this and this look the same so we can get rid of them? Next up, you realize usually for trigger proving, we need to do some sort of factorization. Actually, for this numerator here, we can use the algebraic identities that we have learned in our secondary school, right? Isn't this your a square minus b square? So, I'm going to do a conversion. This one, after cancelling, I'm left with 4. For the numerator there, it will be a cos square theta minus sine square theta cos square theta plus sine square theta Ooh, isn't this one of your identities? sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1, right? Remember in your formula sheet So that means I'm just left with 4 of a cos square theta minus sine square theta and I'm almost there. You see, what you want to show is to make it cos 2 theta. Now, what you want to show is a 2 theta double angle. What you have now is a single angle. So let's go and look at our double angle formula. And do you not realize? This whole 4 of cos square theta minus sine square theta, I can happily convert it into cos of 2 theta. And there we have proven. <laughs> 